Thanks a lot, guys, here at the Worldwide Arena as we are three weeks away from Super Bowl Nine in Oakland, California. Can Ric Flair become 14-time World Heavyweight Champion? My money says yes. I know that I'm counting down the days to Super Brawl, and you can rest assured that the Nature Boy Ric Flair, the new president of World Championship Wrestling, is doing exactly the same. Everything that he has had to put up with in terms of the NWO is going to come to a head at Super Brawl. Yes, it's an opportunity for Ric Flair to say, I am the 14-time World Heavyweight Champion. But I think that that's secondary. I think that the World Heavyweight title, and this is strange to say when it involves a traditionalist like Ric Flair, but I believe that the World title is secondary to just him getting his hands on Hollywood Hogan after everything that has gone down in the past few months. No question about it. Ric Flair and Hollywood Hogan, if you think you've seen those two men tie it up, you have not seen it until you see Super Brawl. I have never seen Ric Flair as angry and as fired up as he is as we head toward the February pay-per-view tradition in Oakland, California in three short weeks. And Ric Flair has certainly shot from the hip when it comes to talking about Hollywood Hogan. You remember that Flair mentioned that Hollywood Hogan did everything within his power to keep talent in his own shadow. Flair agrees. Hollywood Hogan is bigger than life. But when it comes to establishing who is the world's heavyweight champion, which we will do at Super Brawl, it's going to boil down to Hollywood Hogan's ego, fame, and notoriety against the in-ring wrestling reputation of one Ric Flair. That's going down February 21st at Super Brawl 9. And here on Worldwide, Mr. World Class, Chip Minton, one-on-one -on -one with Scotty Riggs. Minton shot in. Step over by Minton, leapfrog by Riggs, waits on him. Oh, what a drop kick from Scotty Riggs. And I still haven't had my questions fully answered about Scotty Riggs and the missing eye patch. Yeah. We all know that when Scotty Riggs was a member of the flock, he received a drop toe hold from Raven into a steel chair and for the better part of a year plus wore an eye patch. Ever since his dissolution and ever since the flock was dissolved, we see that Riggs is no longer wearing the eye patch. I wonder if maybe Raven hadn't just convinced him that he needed it. And he really didn't. He obviously didn't. He's in there wrestling without it right now. Probably as good an answer as any when you consider the spell that Raven had over the other flock members. Just a total mind control. The opposition for Scotty Riggs is provided by the world-class athlete, and there's no denying that. No. In terms of Chip Minton, we're talking about a two-time Olympian two sports star and a very interesting two sports star combining professional wrestling with the bobsled and if you ask chip mitten he was let down by the other three members of the u.s bobsled team in both lilhammer and nagano but i think if you go back and watch the tape you saw chip mitten lift his head and when you're zipping down that bobsled track at who knows how many hundreds of thousands of miles per hour you raise that head, that creates just enough resistance. It shaved precious seconds off the run, costing the U.S. a medal at the Olympics. That's what I say. And it's just so disappointing to see a great athlete like Chip Minton point the fingers at his teammates. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the Olympics here. Has there ever been a sports competition where teamwork and the fact that you're working for the medals for your own country comes into play more than the Olympics, and then he has the nerve to blame the other people for what was, I think, a very good showing. What were they, fifth? Finished fifth that year. Best showing ever by a United States Olympic bobsled team, and Minton still not satisfied trying to throw blame around. And now Mr. World Class. Oh, what a misnomer that is. What well, Mr. No Class? Chip Minton. Shoots Scotty Riggs across into the ropes. Minton, oh, missed with a drop kick. Riggs hung on. You see the incredible development in the legs of Chip Minton. The key to his success in pro wrestling is going to be taking those leg, that leg power and using it in the wrestling ring. That time he missed with the drop kick. Ooh. Let's see if Riggs can follow up and take the advantage here. Riggs now beginning to open up on Chip Minton. Minton in the corner. Snap bear take out of the corner from Riggs on Minton. Riggs now to the middle rope. Misses the elbow. 
Mitten out of the way. Well, it was nice agility by Riggs in walking the ropes, but then he didn't connect when he tried with that elbow smash coming off the middle rope. Suplex take over. Nicely executed, and Chip Mitten taking over on Scotty Riggs. Oh! Full oh, body splash off the ropes. Lateral press covered up. Riggs out at two. And that big splash has provided Mitten with several victories in WCW. Oh, leapfrog from Mitten. Oh, the five bar from Scotty Riggs out of nowhere. Back crap. Hooks the leg. Got him. He got him. Scotty Riggs gets the victory. Another success from a former Flockster. Riggs goes airborne with that flying forearm smash. Connects. Follows up with the pin. Much more action still to come on Worldwide.